adding water on site? No, thanks. What are you doing, Frank? Your concrete seems too fluid. Look at the segregation. Have you added water? Yes, just a little to make it easier to fill the beams. We have the slab to fill before 6 o'clock. No, Frank. By adding water, you degrade the concrete and it becomes weaker and less durable, causing segregation and cracking. Really? But we always do it like that. And we have never had a problem. Look at what happens to the fresh concrete. By adding water, you are filling the inside with it. And after hardening, the water evaporates and the concrete becomes very porous and therefore less resistant and more vulnerable to external pressure, thus it is less sustainable. Also, with an excess of water, the fresh concrete is segregated and easily loses its lightness. Finally, after it hardens, the concrete begins to lose excess water and retracts. This can lead to cracking of the concrete. Indeed, the premature departure of water on the surface of the concrete creates tensions that lead to cracking. So, how do I have concrete that is very easy to use without degrading its quality? Instead of adding water, if you're using a ready-to-use concrete, you will have to order a sufficient class to SAG. The concrete mixer will make it using a specific addictive. If you're doing your own concrete on site, make sure that you put the correct amount of addictive in the cement mixer as prescribed by the manufacturer in the technical data sheet. And then your concrete becomes sufficiently fluid without losing strength and durability. So you can even do better in terms of cost. Wow, really? And what is this addictive? In fact, when you add the superplacitizer, the polymers stop the electrostatic attraction, which is responsible for the flocculation of cement and fine grain. These grains are dispersed and free the water that is trapped, which thins the mixture without any additional water. So do you understand now? Definitely. I won't need to add water to the concrete on site now. So there you go. You can pour your concrete without degrading its quality. There are also addictives which can increase the resistance of the concrete, accelerate or delay its solidification, prevent cracking during removal, reduce its permeability, or improve its resistance to freeze all those cycles, and many other uses, which I'll explain in the modes of action segment later. This video was made in collaboration with Saika Marak and with the official support of the Federation of Industries of Materials of Construction, FMC. For more information, follow us on our page. We learn.